Hey guys, welcome back. Where we left off on Cyrus' Evo, we're doing the removable tube front end. We've got the cuts made on the chassis, and we're moving on to building the chassis plates. You saw me drilling the holes using my drill press and the annular cutter, which makes really nice, clean, large holes and thick material. I highly recommend those instead of a drill bit if you're going to do thick material and things like stainless steel definitely use an annular cutter all right so we got to weld on some nuts onto the back side of the plates that we're going to be welding on to the chassis itself so that we have something for it to receive onto and then we will move on to bending tube so here we go jig that I've built. Keep in mind, if you're not familiar with fabrication, the jig's only purpose is to help you remake product over and over so it doesn't have to be pretty and this one ain't. So we're going to bolt these guys right in there. So this is essentially acting as the chassis that we just cut on top of the eagle. By having this, it ensures that I am set up for success just like with the jig pieces I was showing you earlier on and how I make sure that the sizes, shapes, and holes are exactly the same. This sets me up for best chances for success when it comes to remaking these removable tube front ends. So you can expect that any manufacturer, including myself, that has a product has one of these for every product they make and sell. where I need to be as far as my center point as we bend our tube and you'll see how this works.
event, and it was a little bit different than what we've done before, because as you know, we're trying to make this work with the AC system. So, challenge accepted Stavros, and it looks like we've made it happen. It's really difficult because I've got this really nice jig, and it's designed for the other bend, so I had to modify it slightly in order to get it to fit properly with the new bend. So, I've trimmed it slightly, and it's been reinforced in different ways so that it's not going to affect the overall design or structural rigidity of it, but as you can see, we have a really, really perfect fitment here. So the next step is to take the plate and get that tacked in position so that we can start locking things up on car. So here we go. What we're doing now is figuring out the final fitment here. Especially when you're sealing too, the internal gases are going to need somewhere to go. And if you don't give them somewhere to go, then it's going to become a big mess later on. Meaning they're going to force themselves out through the weakest point, whether it's a weld or most likely going to be a weld, let alone the weakness of the tube. In order to resolve this problem, we have to drill a hole. And that will release pressure so that once each side is sealed, we won't have any issues like that.
see we have finished getting everything mopped up and tacked on as far as the receiving plates with the nuts on the back side of them. We have successfully mocked up the tube front end that we have bent and welded not only the radiator support but also the headlight support. And as you can see, we have met our, our, our main objective, which is to redesign the tube front to accommodate the AC condenser. So everything's looking good at this point. And I think this is a good point to go ahead and wrap up this episode because what's coming next is we're going to end up mocking up the brackets that are going to support this thing as well as do the radiator brackets and the intercooler. So we're really starting to move along here and you'll see this project accelerate really quickly now that we have gotten a lot of the time consuming bits out of the way. So be sure to join us next time and you'll see the progress on this. But if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And we love hearing back from you guys. So if you have any feedback on this video or any of the other videos that we've done recently, please do comment below. And if you like them, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna make sure that you're aware of the new videos that are coming out as they're coming out, also make sure that you hit the notification bell. Other than that, until next time, and thanks again to our sponsors that help fuel us.